What's going on everyone? It's Abdali here bringing you guys another awesome tips and tricks tutorial video for Animal Crossing New Horizons on Nintendo Switch. Now that the fall update is here, we have just learned everything there is to know about pumpkins and the science behind it. So today's video, I bring you 20 facts about pumpkins in order to teach you how to make the perfect pumpkin patch within the game. It's going to be super awesome, so thanks so much for watching. And while you're at it, thank you so much for hitting that subscribe button. We've got over 816,000 subscribers. Thanks for helping out on our road to 1 million. If you guys have not already seen the main channel page, definitely take a look at it. We got a lot of fall update videos happening over here, including this one where we went through and we did all the data sciences live in front of a YouTube audience for about five hours. So consider this everything that we learned in a nice bite size video that you guys will totally learn from. So without further ado, let's jump on into the 20 facts about pumpkins. So starting off right over here, as you guys can see, the pumpkin update is out. Everything starts on October 1st, and once October 1st comes around, you can head on over to Timmy and Tommy's, and once you go inside there, you'll have access to purchasing your very first step in making the perfect pumpkin patch, and that's going to be the pumpkin starts. If you guys remember bushes and all those other kind of starts and flower bags and stuff like that, that's exactly what you're gonna be doing over here. So pumpkin start is where you're going to go. It costs 280 bells, so I would definitely stock up on these as many as possible. Buy them in bulk for about 1,400 a piece, and then just go crazy with them. Now, if you have Leaf inside of your plaza right over there, you can talk to him and he sells the starts at half the price. Although half the price isn't really that big of a deal as far as bells go. I know you guys have a lot of money, but keep that in mind in case you want to save a buck. As you can see on screen, there are four different varieties of pumpkins available within the game. You're going to find orange, you'll find white, you'll find green, and you'll also find yellow pumpkins within the game. Now, when you go through to plant your very first pumpkin starts from right over here that you purchased from either Leaf or Timmy and Tommy, all you have to do is press the plant one and then it automatically comes right underneath your foot. Now, the interesting thing about the pumpkin starts is that if you dig it up, it'll actually be randomized. We'll see over here that that was exactly it. It was called a small pumpkin sprout. So once you have the small pumpkin sprout, it's going to be random on whether or not it's going to be one of the four colors associated. Now, if you guys paid attention to my live stream, I did multiple tests and the odds of all of the pumpkins spawning on board were very interesting, but they were very consistent all throughout. And tons of other people have also mentioned the exact same thing. Now, I'm gonna go on an anecdotal side simply because I don't have the data from the actual game, but anecdotally, the odds for getting all these pumpkins are a 70, 10%, 10%, 10% split. Meaning that 70% of the time, you'll be able to pick the orange pumpkins from your harvest after you're done with that. And then 10% of the time is going to be all the rest of the colors, such as white, we've got yellow, and then coming on board with the greens as well. So the life cycle of a pumpkin is really only a four day cycle. The first day is going to be you planting it originally, whether it's from a start or whether you bury a pumpkin. That's day one, and that'll be a small pumpkin sprout. Next one is going to be day two, based off of natural growing, and that will be a medium pumpkin sprout. Day three is right over here, as you can see, a very, very small pumpkin, which is considered a large pumpkin sprout. And then day four, you will have an option of one of these different ripe pumpkins on board. Now, when it comes to pumpkins on the ground, you don't have to worry about running through them and destroying them like you would all of your flowers within the game. So yeah, no need to tiptoe around them. They're very hardy and they'll absolutely last for you. Now, opposed to real life where you buy a pumpkin and a week later it's super rotten and the squirrels are already chewing on it, if you place a pumpkin from your inventory on the ground, like these four on screen over here, nothing will happen to it. It will be a pumpkin indefinitely. It's not like a turnip that's gonna spoil and then attract flies or ants. So these things are super hardy. Now, some of you guys are wondering exactly how you're going to get singles, doubles, or triple pumpkins upon harvest on day four. And it's really based off of your specific watering habits. Now, when it comes to watering, if you want to net a singular pumpkin like the top row right over this way, all you have to do is not even water the pumpkin at all. It will naturally grow and sprout into a single pumpkin on day four with zero watering. 
If you're looking at making a double pumpkin, just like the middle row this way, all you have to do is water your pumpkin plants just once throughout its growth cycle and you'll net those. And last but not least, if you're looking for the awesome triple pumpkins in order to harvest, all you have to do is water every single day of your life cycle and by doing so, you'll be rewarded with three times as many pumpkins when you go to harvest them and pick them off the ground. Now, once your pumpkins are already ripe and ready to go, all you have to do is go over to them and press the Y button in order to grab them. Now, the interesting thing about pumpkins is that their life cycle restarts at day two as soon as they harvest, which is great. It's a shortcut in order to get even more pumpkins. And I could show you that simply by digging this up. And once we see that, it'll be in our inventory and it'll be labeled as a day two pumpkin right over this way, a medium orange pumpkin sprout. So a day three, technically after that, would be a large orange pumpkin sprout, and then it'll absolutely harvest into a ripe one. Now, the beauty about recycling all of these plants is that as soon as it sprouts into a specific ripe color, it is a 100% permanent coloration. Meaning, if you have an awesome yellow one right over here, and you pick out the yellow ones off of there, this entire thing right over here, this plant, is going to be a specific yellow plant. As you guys can see right over here, it's a medium yellow. And likewise with all of the other colorations too. If you grow a white one randomly off of a start, it'll become a white pumpkin sprout. Um, small, medium, large, depending on when you pluck it out of there. And same thing with greens, and then same thing with oranges. So now, if you want to play the odds in your favor and forget all about the statistics of growing these pumpkins, all you really have to do is go through and grow them the first time, and once you have enough of these pumpkins floating around, you can grab any specific pumpkin color that you want to make a pumpkin plant of and simply drop it into the ground. Once you do so, that will automatically start the day one process of that specific coloration of plant. Case in point, I'll dig it out right now and then we'll take a look at our menu and you'll see right over here that it becomes a small yellow pumpkin. Doing this strategy will allow you to grab and make any kind of perfect pumpkin patch based off of what coloration you are actually looking for. So if you take a look over here in my side, I wanted the rarer colorations, which are the 10%, and I wanted them all in triples. So making your perfect pumpkin patch would only involve just bearing the specific pumpkin colorations. Now, when it comes to planting pumpkins, you can do that year round. It doesn't matter if you're in winter, spring, summer, or fall. These pumpkins are super hardy and you can continue growing them all year. So as you know, in order to get the pumpkins to yield the best harvest, you're going to need to water them. Now, as soon as you water them within the game, you're going to get sparkle spots. But going through and watering them with a golden watering can versus a regular old watering can does absolutely nothing special. So if you think about it in the game, the golden watering can has a little bit of a golden flag property with black roses. There's nothing like that in this game. So if you guys remember the concept of inviting friends over to your town in order to water your plants, in order to make hybrids, yeah, that concept over here with inviting people over to get bigger sparkles is absolutely non-existent. So get that out of your mind. It's not happening. Not at all. It's unfortunate. So don't waste your time. So contrary to all of the hybridization with flowers within the game, there's absolutely no hybrids growing within pumpkins over here. There's no putting an orange one next to a white one in order to get a purple one. There's nothing like that. So let's squash that right now. So out of all of the 14 DIYs within the game, you're going to need approximately 88 of the orange pumpkins in order to craft one of every single one of these brand new Halloween DIY items. So keep that in mind as you're going through and making your pumpkin patches. 88 pumpkins is a lot of starts, and if you're gonna be watering them for triple the yield, that's still a lot of space for it. So you're definitely gonna to wanna to save, and if you want multiples of these, especially the, uh, the little carriage over here that costs 30 pumpkins in order to do so, you're gonna need a lot of resources. And last but not least is going to be a use 
for all of the different colored pumpkins. Now, I told you guys earlier that you need about 88 different pumpkins in order to make one of everything. Now, if you wanted to color them in a specific way, this is exactly what you need the other colors for. Forget customization kits, you're going to need six yellow pumpkins to make this spooky arch into something yellow. If you wanna make it green, it's gonna cost you six green ones. And if you wanna make it the very cool monochrome, drop six white pumpkins. Now that's not the only item. If you take a look at the carriage right over here, you've got the exact same thing. Orange, yellow, green, and monochrome. Now, if you guys wanna see every single one of the brand new items and their customizations and how to get them, by all means, I've got that tutorial in the works for you. But until then, make sure you guys are on board with hitting that subscribe button and making your very own perfect pumpkin patch with everything that you've learned on this video. Thank you so much for watching. Oh boy, this fall update has been really fun. It was so cool to jump onto live stream with all the fans like you guys and just, just get into the science mode, right? Get back into sciences and knowing exactly what's happening. Anyway, we're on the road to 1 million subscribers right now, so I'd love it if you guys would hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you know when we go live with any kind of tips and tricks tutorial videos or Animal Crossing live streams. And of course, it's super easy to do that. It's absolutely free do that. Anyway, have a great rest of your day. Thanks so much for watching and thank you so much for sharing this video amongst all of your friends on your little Animal Crossing Facebook or social media gatherings. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Take care.